All right, what's up, y'all? I'm actually going to tell y'all about all the GTA games that came out throughout the years. I got it all right here. So let me just get right into it because all of them got descriptions. So first one is Grand Theft Auto 1 that came out in 1997. Situated in San Andreas, San Francisco, Liberty City, New York City, and Vice City, Miami, Grand Theft Auto offers six action-packed levels. Players can steal cars, take out cops, run over pedestrians, and interact with the world around them in this all-encompassing setting, if I pronounce that right. It's filled with high-octane moments while allowing players to complete jobs and earn points along the way, whether it's finding special vehicles whether it's finding special vehicles or robbing a bank, the jobs are unique and encapitivating. Encap I'm not going to pronounce that. That's just wasting time. This game is in the beginning of what's become a world-famous series across multiple consoles. That's Grand Theft Auto 1. Grand Theft Auto 2 came out in 1999. GTA 2 is set in a town with three districts residential downtown and industrial it transports the player to a near future environment with the same thrill filled moments and action scenes play through a variety of missions while answering phones robbing banks and helping steal vehicles feel free to enjoy the environment and explore everything that it has to offer whether it's interacting with players or taking out cops. The options are endless in this game. That's GTA 2. GTA 1 and 2 are both top-down and 2D era type games, so... And now we're about to head into the 3D era, which is GTA 3, which released in 2001. Catalina and Claude Speed take their frenzy-ridden lives to Liberty City, New York City after spending time in San Andreas. Their criminal ways continue to be integral component of who they are. I hope I pronounced that I word right. GTA 3 leads to a twist in the tale as Catalina ends up joining Miguel and cutting ties with, with Claude before taking him out. While Claude, while Claude continues his journey to recovery, the game turns towards a story of vengeance for those who want to get back for this disloyalty. The game provides players with all-encompassing set of missions to seek revenge and get back at Catalina for what she has done. Yeah, so that's the main plot of GTA 3. GTA Vice City, released in 2002. Noted for being one of the most popular GTA games, it is, and also being the best-selling GTA game in 2002, Vice City follows Tommy Vassetti as, after he's released from prison. The world is a lot different from what it was 15 years ago, so 1986 was the setting of GTA Vice City. 15 years ago, that would have been that would have been like 19. 71 1972 and it's time for Tommy to get back to his criminal ways with the help of Sonny Forelli. It starts with a typical drug job before things go pear shaped and he's left struggling to make things right. To get his money back, Tommy has to go through the heart of Vice City and the path is laced with danger. Whether it's the gangsters, bikers, Cubans, or politicians, there's always someone looking to get in Tommy's way as he tries to get what he wants. Players enjoy access to a wide array of features in this version, including to ability, including the ability to hop onto two-wheeled vehicles, including motorcycles. Speed around town completing missions while getting to make the most of these fascinating vehicles. For those who want to who want to head up into the sky, this game ensures Tommy gets to fly small planes and helicopters while jumping to different parts of Vice City. So, that's Vice City. GTA San Andreas, 
released 2004. My main game. Situated in the 1990s, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is a unique take at action, thrills, and loads of unfiltered emotion. Set in the hands of Carl Johnson, CJ, the player spends time in San Andreas after moving back from Liberty City. Being a former gang member, CJ walks into loads of trouble as he learns more about his past and everything that led to his mom leading to his mom's death. As he attends the funeral, Carl begins to understand what went wrong and how the police didn't do its job. The game takes players on a journey as Carl aims to to avenge the death and make things right again. That's GTA San Andreas. Okay, GTA 4, released in 2008. I love GTA 4. Going back to its traditional routes, roots, GTA 4 is set in the heart of Liberty City. This time it's set in the hands of Johnny Klebitz and his adventures through the region. Oh, I think it's talking about the loss of the dam. I think. I don't know. As the as the VP vice president of a biker gang named the Lost MC, Johnny understands the ins and outs of being a criminal better than anyone else. While he waits for the president to get better, the strong hearted protagonist begins to position himself as the leader. Whether it's handling new missions, setting standards, or setting standards, or focusing on the angels of death, there's always something to do in GTA 4. Starting with Johnny's adventures through Liberty City, and see how they mesh together with Nico Be- with N- <laughs> with Nico Bellic. I got so much tongue twisting right now, and his fascinating storyline. It's a story that's jam-packed with action and has a little bit of everything for those who want to go on an adventure. Okay. Alright. GTA 5. 2013. Set in the beautiful Los Santos, GTA 5 encompasses encompasses a wonderful cast of characters including Franklin, Trevor, and Michael. Players can easily toggle through the different players to gain a new perspective of each mission throughout their journey. Their personalities and actions provide a new flavor to each mission allowing players to see the details from different angles. From complicated heists to challenging operations, the goal is to intertwine each character and understand the role they have to play in earning points. Whether it's bringing in henchmen or finding the right vehicles to travel across LS, the opportunities are endless in this charming setting. Enjoy a powerful set of missions with robberies, fast cars, illegal activities, and more in this incredible version of GTA. That's GTA 5. Now, the expansion packs of GTA. This one right here, GTA London, which is set in 1969, but it released in 1999. So, noted as the first mission pack for Grand Theft Auto, this is an official expansion on the original version. Having left Miami, New York, and Los Angeles behind, It's time to find a new urban playground to enjoy in the form of London. So I believe this is the only GTA that goes outside of the United States. Literally in the UK. Players get to enjoy a fascinating set of graphics, missions, and vehicles in the Victorian elegance of England's finest city. This expansion pack offers a wide array of missions while allowing players to immerse themselves in the London experience with its fun-filled references. Take opportunity to rob people, find speedy cars, and spend time completing criminal activities 
in this charming expansion expansion pack. Organized crime has never been better than it is in this 1960s version of London. Okay. Grand Theft Auto London 1961. Okay, I have not heard of this one in particular. I've only heard of the 1969 one. This is mission pack number two for Grand Theft Auto and requires the original version to work. In Grand Theft Auto London 1961, players are transported into a beautiful part of historic England with its unique vehicles, uh, cockney slang, and re-owned landmarks. Players can enjoy players can enjoy a, f a flurry of new cutscenes, brand new English style vehicles, and the ability to head over to Manchester for a death match. This expansion pack is a beautiful way to enjoy the perks of Grand Theft Auto in a fresh setting. Okay. So that's Grand Theft Auto London 1961. Okay, The Loss in the Dam, GTA 4, 2009. This is one of the expansion packs for GTA 4, The Loss in the Dam. Grand Theft Auto 4, The Loss in the Dam is noted as being the original expansion pack for GTA 4. Similar to the original game, this expansion pack is also set in the same setting of Liberty City, but provides access to an interesting protagonist, becoming a part of of an in of an enthralling biker gang and begin to appreciate the little tendencies that make it all work whether it's hiring henchmen interacting with other members or completing missions players get the immersive get get the immerse themselves in this in this financing setting for those wanting to spend a bit of free time enjoying Liberty City, it's always easy to hop over to the clubhouse and participate in mini games such as pool, arm wrestling, and more. The expansion pack also offers an ability to shift through different modes and appreciate the nuances, I don't know how to say that word, of using of using weapons such as a pool, as such as a pool cue an automatic 9mm, a grenade launcher, and an assault shotgun. Okay, that's GTA 4. Um, the Lost in the Dam. I'm sorry, y'all. I keep getting tongue twisters. I'm really trying to speak as slowly and as carefully as possible, but I still keep getting these damn tongue twisters. So I'm trying to read this as carefully as I can. GTA 4 The Ballade of Gay Tony. This is actually one of my favorite expansion packs of GTA 4, actually. This released in 2009. Uh, the Lost in the Dam released in 2009. Um, GTA London released in 1999. Uh, GTA London 1961, that also released in 1999. I forgot to mention the years they released. Alright, GTA The Bali of Gay Tony, 2009. This is the second expansion pack for GTA 4 and it is established around a brand new character in the form of Luis Fernando Lopez. I forgot his last name, <laughs> but that's his last name and middle name too. In this version, players get the play as a bodyguard for a well-known drug lord, Anthony Gay Tony Prince. This adventure plays play this adventure places players in the heart of a Dominican drug circle while living a, a life full of luxury. Whether it's sleek sports cars, endless riches, or parachutes, it's easy than ever before to appreciate everything that comes along with Grand Theft Auto 4. While completing missions as Luis Lopez, players can um, revel in activities such as dancing at, at a nightclub and going for a round of golf. Okay. All right. Handheld games. So these so these are GTA games that you play on Game Boy, I think. 
So that's what they mean by handheld. Grand Theft Auto Advance 2004. Um, Grand Theft Auto Advance begins with a beautiful backdrop of Liberty City as the protagonist plans to retire peacefully. Just like most things in Liberty City, it's no easy to it's not easy to quit. And this last job becomes the beginning of something bigger. After seeing Vinny get murdered, the police try to put it on you, making it impossible to walk through the area. To prove your innocence, it's time to locate Vinny's killer and seek revenge. Okay? That's GTA Advance, released in 2004. GTA Liberty City Stories. My favorite. My favorite. 2005. Set in 1998, GTA Liberty City Stories follows Tony Cipriani as he completes an entertaining list of missions. Having to begin in the pits of a local mob, it's time for Tony to show what he's all about and why he deserves to rise in the rankings. Players get an opportunity to become a part of the mob fight with other mafia families and complete missions throughout the city. Pretty much. That's GTA Liberty City Stories. Oh, and as a fun fact, GTA Liberty City Stories is actually, I think, a prequel to GTA 3. Since GTA 3 came out in 2001 and it's set in 2001, GTA Liberty City Stories is a prequel to GTA 3 since it was set three years prior so 2001 and 1998 that's like a three year gap so and same thing with this one right here GTA Vice City Stories that's also another prequel to GTA Vice City because this game takes place in 1984 a few years before GTA Vice City, Victor Vance takes center stage as the protagonist in this high-octane prequel in 1984. Victor has spent time in the army and is a proud man with a loving family that's important to him. However, what was a life he had been proud of goes out of control after a bad decision. To survive and grow, it's time for Vic to take things into his own hands while strolling through the streets of Vice City. Will he build a successful empire and grow into a powerful figure, or will he die? Joining with his brother Lance, Lance Vance, <clears throat> it's time for the siblings to take over Vice City in this capitating prequel. I said capitating instead of Captivating, wait, wait, Captivating, I think that's how you pronounce it, prequel. Alright, so that's GTA Vice City Stories. GTA Chinatown Wars, oh, oh, and GTA Vice City Stories came out in 2006. Okay, GTA Chinatown Wars, released in 2009. Okay, in GTA Chinatown Wars, the game is set in a beautiful Liberty City as the journey of vengeance begins. Hung Lee is the main protagonist in this fun-filled version equipped with an intriguing personality. I hope I pronounced that right. As a member of the triads, Hung Lee understands how important it is to do his job and recognize his position. All of this goes pear-shaped after his father's assassination when Hung goes to deliver a sword to his Uncle Kenny. After getting ambushed during the meeting, it's time for Hung to get revenge for the assassination and bring back the ceremonial sword that was precious to his father. Okay. And that that's it. That's it. That's the that's the last GTA. 
well, GTA 5 was the last GTA, but they had it, but they had it in categories. So this was the handheld games category for GTA. Uh, the expansion pack category for GTA. And the and the main series. So yeah, table of contents. The main series GTA games, the expansion packs of GTA games, and the handheld games of GTA games. So that's pretty much it right there. That's the table of contents of all the GTA games. So GTA 1, 1997, GTA 2, 1999, GTA 3, 2001, GTA Vice City, 2002, GTA San Andreas, 2004, GTA 4, 2008, GTA 5, 2013. That's the main series. Expansion packs, GTA London, 1969, released 1999. GTA London 1961 released also in 1999 GTA 4 The Lost in the Dam 2009 GTA 4 The Ballet of Gay Tony also 2009 and handheld games of GTA you got GTA Advance 2004 GTA Liberty City Stories 2005 GTA Vice City Stories 2006 and GTA Chinatown Wars 2009. So those are literally all of G those are all of the those are all of the GTA games throughout the years, starting from 1997 all the way to 2013. And most recently, Rockstar Games has confirmed that GTA 6 is in development. Rockstar literally confirmed themselves. So if y'all wanna see that confirmation, y'all can look on their Rockstar Newswire thingy or their social media sites and it'll clear as day say that they have a brand new GTA game in development. And God only knows when that game is set to release. Whether it's sometime next year or in 2024. At least those are rumored release dates for GTA 6. But for now, since the game is already confirmed, now all Rockstar gotta do is just make an announcement or release details of the game that we all need to know about. So that could be the very last GTA game in the entire franchise. Because I'm pretty sure that was the entire franchise. The main series, the expansion packs, and the, and the handheld games. That is the entire GTA franchise. Starting from GTA 1 all the way to GTA 5. Including the expansion packs and the handheld games. So, yeah, that's that's crazy. And GTA 6 is literally going to be the very, like, God only knows if GTA 6 is going to be the last in the franchise. Who really knows? Now Rockstar, now, now, now all that Rockstar got to do is just make an announcement and release details about what the game is going to include, what it's going to have in content and stuff like that. And then once that game comes out, boom, the GTA franchise is a complete. So So yeah, that's pretty much it. So now now before I go, I actually want to ask y'all this question. What is y'all's favorite GTA games? Like, what are y'all fa- What are y'all's favorite GTA games? Mine's is obviously GTA San Andreas, Vice City, GTA Liberty City Stories, Vice City Stories, 
GTA 4, where you only play as Nico, and GTA 4, the ball aid of gay Tony, where you play as Luis, um, and GTA 5. That's pretty much it. Um, and um, I didn't include the GTA trilogy, the definitive edition. I didn't include that in this video today because those are just remasters of 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. So I didn't include those. Um, GTA 5 Expanded and Enhanced. That's also a remaster. So that's why I didn't include that because it's not a brand new game. So I didn't include that. But those are my favorite GTA games. So y'all can let me know down below on what your favorite GTA games are. And pretty much tell me why. Why you love them. Um, I would tell y'all why I love the GTA games. I stated, but that's going to consume too much time. But, but uh, yeah, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Um, hopefully, if y'all enjoyed, make sure you drop it a like. Um, subscribe if any of y'all are new. And, um, yeah. I guess I'll see y'all in the next one. Alright?